What's up guys, Scipio Africanus here. So I was at an exotic reptile shop a few days ago, just, uh, you know, trying to kill some time looking at all the neat little critters they had. And I overheard a conversation from a guy who supposedly owned an alligator. Cool shit I was thinking. Then I also thought, wait, how much do those things even cost? And then it turned into, how much does the other, like, weird shit people own, like, you know, chimpanzees, lions, stuff like that. How much is all that going for? So I decided to do a little digging. And here are some prices for various exotic animals. Some deadly, some not so. So let's start off on gators and crocs. For 150 bucks, you can get an American alligator. Way cheaper than I was thinking. But then again, I imagine feeding and maintaining their habitat gets quite pricey. As per crocodiles, I saw those going for about 550, specifically Morlitz crocodiles. Now again, cheap, but eventually you're gonna have a seven to nine foot lizard you gotta feed. Next up, we're gonna check out how much one of my least favorite animals costs, a chimpanzee. So these guys, I couldn't actually find any sites selling them directly. So the price that I got was pretty much off some news reports. So I'm not really sure, you know, the accuracy on it. But according to what I read, they go for around $60,000. Again, I'm not sure how accurate that is, but the fact that someone would uh, pay that much for something that will more than likely maul you to death uh, I, I'm going to say a side note, that's quite impressive. Now, I did find smaller monkeys, and uh, they were going for around $4,500. Now, some people are content with owning a simple dog. There are others, however, that want a little more. For around $4,500, you can get striped and spotted hyenas. Yes, I know they're not dogs. Stop writing that essay down in the comments below. I don't care. Cat people not content with basic cats have it a little easier, however. So, according to what I found, uh, you can get lion cubs for $1,500. Yes, lion cubs. Those things that, uh, you know, in case you don't know, uh, they turn to big boy lions. And again, I emphasize, this is from a website that I found. I mean, it seems fairly legit to me. Uh, I mean, of course, if it isn't legit, uh, you can always do what uh, I tell everyone else to do. Cry about it. Guinea pigs, honestly, are the chads of the rodent family. They're overall just really chill, with the only con to actually owning one being they don't live very long. They also make funny noises too. But let's say a guinea pig is too small for your taste. Not literally. And you'd rather an animal that lives a little longer than two years. Well, look no further than the king of the rodents, the capybara. For the low, low price of a mere $1,500, you can allow this king of rodents residence in your humble abode. So there you have it. Prices on some exotic animals. Hope you all found this interesting, and I'll see you all again next time. This is Scipio Africanus, signing out.